Hello and a very warm welcome from the UBC Thunderburn Arena. I'm Mark Dreyer from Paralympic Sport TV and I'm very happy to be joined now by Rick and Rob from Puck Radio and they've been commentating on all the games and guys doing a simply fantastic job. Now Rob, if I can start with you, when these two teams played earlier in the competition it was very lopsided. Will it be the same again? I suspect not. Uh, head coach uh, for Japan, Kojin Nekakita, is a very intelligent hockey, uh, astute hockey man, and I don't think he'll let that happen. He'll study the tapes, he'll have his team ready. They've been beaten by uh, Canada many times in the past, and they found a way to beat Canada here at the tournament. I don't know if Japan can beat the USA, but I suspect a much, much closer event. Now, Rick, 20-year-old Steve Cash, who's the goalkeeper for the US team, hasn't conceded a goal yet in this tournament. What does Japan need to do to get past him? Well, anything short of a miracle, because he has not let up a goal, and the team is playing so well in front of him. Historically, Japan has always had trouble scoring goals, so they'd be good to keep this a low-scoring game, just like they did against Canada, give themselves a chance to win the game late. I don't think they can come out and beat uh, USA with four or five goals. It's going to be a low scoring game and a close game. Now let's just talk a little bit about the tournament as a whole. The atmosphere has been simply incredible in this venue. I haven't seen anything like it. What's it been like for you guys up in the booth? At times it's been difficult for us to, to hear each other. It's been a great atmosphere, a great environment. I'm really impressed with the tournament itself and with the quality of the field. For instance, four years ago in Torino, the Italian team was beaten 12 nothing twice. They finished seventh place here, uh, just a much better team, and they gave us some of our most exciting moments of the competition. So there's a lot of international parity in sledge hockey. It's great for the sport. The home team was disappointed that their side didn't win a, a medal, but I think overall that's good for the sport. Rick, if there's been one thing from this tournament that will be your lasting memory, what will it be? Well, uh, it's got to be the Canada loss to Japan. I mean, I think everybody, you could feel the air go out of the building when that second goal was scored. Still, everybody thought it's going to go to overtime. Canada's still going to pull this out. And when that second goal was scored late in the game, I went, wow, just wow. And it just goes to show you really how competitive this is. There are one seeds, there are eight seeds, but we saw a lot of eight seeds play very well, seven seeds, six seed. I thought the high seeds, you know, we're gonna run away with this, but it hasn't been that way. And Rob, for you, what's been the, the single lasting memory? I've just loved watching uh, some of the underdog teams. We talked about Italy, and there was one particular passing play that they made in this event. It was finished off by their captain, Chiarotti, and that was just such a special play, and we kind of bumped and nudged each other because it was such a, a great moment for an up-and-coming team to pull off a goal like that that says, we've arrived, and I think that, that will be one memory I'll always have. Great stuff, guys. Well, that's enough talking from us. For now, let's see how the U.S. team progressed to the final. Taylor lips it. He can't reach it. Taylor chase will a shot. He scores. Here's a chance for Salamone. He scores. <laughs> no mistake. Salamone cruising in. Lips it. And what a save. No, it's in the net. It's a goal for the U.S. Yeah, that's all the U.S. needs to do right now is get the puck into the zone, work it down low, try to get another goal. And they score. Taylor lips it. Second goal of the game. Taylor chase intercepts. Here he goes. Chase in alone, scores! Taylor Chase expertly puts it in. It is 5-0 for the U.S. Salamone gives to Chase with a shot. Stopped by the pick, and they score on the rebound. Taylor lifts it, his third of the tournament. Here comes Salamone with a chance. Alexei Salamone shoots and scores! Connolly shoots and scores! Didn't get all of it, but got enough of it. And the 20-year-old from New Jersey, Jimmy Connolly, gives USA a 3-0 lead. A little too far ahead for Tim Jones, the 22-year-old from New Jersey. Now a chance in front for Paige. He scores! Yoey, cross ice for Salamone. Cutting in, a penalty coming. Salamone didn't need the power play scores as he walked in front and went upstairs. 
Here's a chance for Landeros, and he snaps it home. It is six nothing USA. Nicky Landero scores his first Paralympic goal. Here's a chance now for Shaw. He's in alone. Shaw scores. There's a great chance. Didn't need a pass. It was a giveaway. The USA has now earned a power play on a delay of game penalty. Taylor chases, scores. His shot was deflected high into the Norway net. Salamone takes it out from in behind. There's a goal. Joe Howard. On the pass from Salamone, that'll do it. It's 3-0 USA with 3-0-1 to play. Well, standing in the way of this US team is Japan. Sensational 3-1 winners over Canada in the semi-final. Let's see how they progressed to the gold medal game. Comes Japan to center, a dangerous looking rush. Ishida. Ishida still with it. Scores! Ishida does it all alone. Wow. Big goal for Japan, big goal. Now Yohara scores! A rocket snapshot by Daisuke Yohara. A shorthanded goal for Japan. They're in the lead, 1-0. There's a shot, they score right off the faceoff. Here comes Endo racing in. Endo gets a shot, he scores. It's 3-0 Japan. And here comes Yuhara and three Japanese players to center. Yuhara, the pass for Takahashi. Yuhara shoots and scores. He scores with a minute 13, and Japan has taken the lead in an unbelievable turn of events. Pushes it off, 34, 33 seconds to play. Dorian takes it from Endo. In behind the net it goes. Westlake chases after it. So does Bowden. Westlake to the blue line, and too far for Labonte. It might go to the empty net. It's over. Japan is headed to the gold medal game. The first time in their career, in their history, they're guaranteed a medal, and it's going to be at least a silver. Well, the fans behind me are ready, and we're just moments away from the gold medal game, USA against Japan. So let's hand things up to the booth and the commentators for today's game, Rob Snook, Rick Middleton, and Louis Simona Pointe. Paralympic Sport TV is brought to you by Visa and Samsung.